That was unexpected. Hey guys, so I watched another movie the other day, and that was called Black Sea. Now, holy crap, one, Jude Law actually was good in a movie. I don't know how you guys feel about the actor, but in my opinion, I've never really liked him in a lot of projects. He's, I don't know, I've never really enjoyed his presence in a film. However, just the idea of Black Sea just sounded so intriguing that I had to watch it. And in my opinion, it's a near perfect film. It is so good. The characters are fantastic. The drama is amazing. The music works just right. And the the finale is great. There's only one little tidbit in it that I will get to later, but admittedly, it's very good. The film is about a um, submarine diver or submarine pilot who's pulled out of a job by his company. So then he finds out from a friend that there was, that th this drop is one of the issues. His friend just drops this uh, information that with, when before he was fired from his company, they went out into the Black Sea and they think they found a Russian uh, some, uh, a, a Nazi U-boat that has a bunch of gold on it that was from the Russians during that they did this transaction during the Second World War to try and uh, to keep allies. However, that U-boat never arrived. Then Russia was invaded by Germany. So after they drop this, they then figure out a way to acquire a Russian submarine, and they get this crew of ragtag people who have been kicked out of jobs and being beaten down by big corporations and they go down into it. They also have to bring one of the corporation do cronies with them to make sure that the thing works out all right. So then they go down into the depths and everything from there is tension. An amazingly well done film and just the core, the tightness of the film, the horror of the darkness and everything was just so well done. The characters, like I am serious, they have a lot of ragtag actors in this film. They've got the guy from the squeaky guy from Killing Them Softly. They've got that crazy Australian dude who always plays a crazy Australian dude. And Jude Law was very good, especially with his accent. And it was a, I got to get down there. And so it was so cool to just watch this film. And then there's obviously there's issues that arise. Certain parts of the sh of the submarine stop working. And at one point when they really when they get to this point and you really want them to succeed the music just comes in and you actually I actually stood up I was like come on I was so drawn into this film I was amazed at how well drawn in I was and then the only thing that I really had an issue with is just how silly the corporation twist angle of it is it's only it's kind of brief but admittedly it's one part that I thought oh it's like okay come on that's like textbook comic book villain idea there. It doesn't dissuade from the rest of the film, it is more so just a dialogue drop. But otherwise, I just didn't, I, I hated that part. Otherwise though, this film is immaculate. The camera work is fantastic, the shots of the death are amazing. The characters are just so twisting and they, everyone is trying to survive in their own means. and. The manipulation and also the other thing too is Jude Law's character is trying kind of portrayed as though he's going crazy at the end but he's not he actually is not portrayed well enough because you've got crazy Australian dude who's being clearly more insane than he is but anyways the whole point is that Jude Law's character is supposed to be just drawn he's basically gone out of his mind to try it's a Moby Dick, a Moby Dick story he wants to get this gold back because he wants to not get he doesn't really want the gold for himself, he wants to get back at the people who fucked him over. And that's what I liked so much about this movie, was that aspect. But in the end, sort of like a, co a cross imaging of how the film ends, I won't reveal it, but it's still, I liked how it ended. And in the end, I'm gonna give Black Sea a 6 out of 7. Honestly, you should watch it. It's a fantastic submarine movie. I love submarine movies, even if they're awful, like U571. Really, watch this movie. And I'm gonna drop this now, pause it right now, if you don't. It's very much like da uh, A Perfect Storm. That was the film that I kept on bringing to mind, so. Like,
kind of ruins it, but it doesn't at the same time. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys next time.